what are your high uh, priority concerns? Well, Tom, I um, that's a good question. I uh, this time of the year is unusual in that we are in the final stages of completing the operating plan that we'll use as the standard against which we measure our performance for all of 1980. We're in the final phases of completing that and communicating it to all of the management personnel involved in that process. And that includes an awful lot of preparation on our part here in headquarters to properly package and effectively communicate all elements of the plan uh, for the sales organization, uh, a process that begins in May and June and accelerates and uh, continues to accelerate uh, through uh, mid-October, the first of November, and then we spend most of November and the first week or so of December in packaging it for field management personnel. And in fact, next week we meet with all of our field managers in a national branch manager meeting and, and share this information with them at that time. Now that is the, the part of, of this time of the year that's unusual. In addition to that, we have all of our ongoing responsibilities that we, we have to keep track of. They range all the way from our need to uh, continue to be looking six months and a year ahead, uh, whether it be uh, sales manpower planning or sales compensation, uh, advertising, product marketing strategies associated with the launching activities of our new products, or basic uh, customer and sales related strategies. What I'd like to do is just go through my speech, read through it, and have um, Pete, he's got it keyed, so he's going to be punching the buttons just like, and Dick, that might mean you're going to have to get over here. Maybe you can see it okay. Yeah. But what I'd like to check for, I'd like to check for content as it relates, emphasis and content as it relates to your parts. I'd like to check also for the sequencing of the slides. I mean, if you think we should wait one sentence longer on a slide, then what we want to do is stop and reposition the slide and get the keying process between Pete and I squared away, okay? okay. So uh, we'll take it right straight through the whole speech. What I'll be doing though is just reading it and you'll be seeing Pete hit the button as we, as we uh, will have it synced based on the current uh, display. Now I'd like for Bill to be here only because he's got a key part in this whole thing. While we're waiting, Jim just handed me this. I sent a note to each of you saying that Bob Reiser was going to be here on the 18th I would like to know all of our interface type problems we have with the store. And I ask you to please get a written list from each group. And what I need for you to do is agree on a date now so Jim will have some date to be working against. Jim needs it by the 18th. You'll be leaving here Tuesday. All of you leave Tuesday? No, I leave Monday. Monday? Tomorrow? Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. 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 For Tom. Uh, why don't we try to... Uh, I do it Monday? Try to get it done by Tuesday, whenever you leave, like noon Tuesday or whatever. I'll get something done back to you. Okay. So that before you leave, you'll make sure somebody gets this list. It'll be our one shot. What'll happen is, now he'll go on record saying, wait a minute, Ice, you didn't have any issues about that. And before you know it, we're really in trouble. Bill, just went over the note, the December 18th meeting with Riser. Yes. Note about what are all of our issues. I need for you, if you would please, by Tuesday noon or so, to give Jim a day or... We'll be gone after that, so we yeah. can just get it done. Okay. So, uh... Got it. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Jim. Yes, sir. Now, Bill, two things. Content and emphasis. We want to make sure... I mean, by emphasis, I mean I won't have a delivery emphasis. I'm talking about choice of words and so forth. Content as well plus the sequencing of the slides is what we want to try to validate, okay? So uh, Pete's going to uh, just go right behind me and I'm going to spend an hour and a half or less hopefully reading the speech. What I'd like to do then, if, if you would help me with it, I'd just like to take the 
now compare the 84 copies percent of total copies to 79 so we're at 35 percent today I need to understand what is the percentage for these four products okay. 1984 okay and then I'll use a couple of these specific product lines as as further proof of the significance okay but Okay. If you could give me that information, that'd be great. Okay. Now, do you want anything on market size? I've got a call in the Doug Stoll on mar absolute market size, so we could compare the, the Xerox percentage of participation against absolute market size, or you just want to talk, so you know, just stay within the product line? Just within the product lines, because these okay. people are much more concerned about the products that we have installed and what the relationship of that is to the total than they are to the sales potential. Okay. 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 So, uh, if you could just get that percent for that total, and then that percent. Let's just see what we've got here, though, first. Nine. So, we, uh, we, we, we make a pretty good step forward, and that's, let's get sale. Okay, that's good. That'll help make the point. Okay. okay. I'll go do that. I'll see you at 1 o'clock. Okay, good. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Okay. And I'll continue to work on this. The fifth floor. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Now, at one, though, right? One o'clock. Okay. They're ready for you. Okay. Good. First of all, I'd just like to say to you, Gene, and, and Tom, to you, uh, I, I think it's super. I think it's excellent. Great. And I believe Great. that the people are going to get into it just like they did. You're the one, and you're the one number two. I do have some questions, though, and it deals with the anticipation of the people sitting there watching the film and whether they're going to feel that we tried to duplicate too closely but still missed you're the one and you're the one, too. And by that, you're the one and you're the one, too, is much more um, ab lib, much more of a quick response from the people that are being photographed and they're all doing different things in this one they're all doing what we more or less tell them to do and it's kind of obvious what thoughts do you guys have about the impact it's going to have and as it relates to the perception the employees will have of the film well I think the uh, the, you know, the truth of the film the uh, you were the one one didn't have nearly the humor in it that uh, right. two did and pie in the face and all those kinds of things uh, actually, both it may come off that this is more closely directed, but in fact, the matter you're the one one and you're the one two were directed more than than this film was. Right. The only direction here by Tony was to get the group out, you know, in front of the camera uh, the day before, have them learn the words of the song and the melody and so on. Once that camera started rolling, uh, his direction then was do your thing, right. do whatever you want. And when I was down in Dallas, I saw probably another 500 feet of film that was cut out where people were doing things that were either not funny or they were very stiff in front of the camera or some things were not really, you know, good taste. Uh, now, this may come off as though it's, you know, more tightly directed, but actually it's just the opposite. I think there'll be people that are disappointed. The people that want to hype will be disappointed. I think there'll be others that a little more attentive that uh, look for a little more of a story and I think that they will like it very much and it'll really that the uh, it'll really boil down to how much do they expect of a movie and uh, to the extent that they want it to bring them up the way you're the one two did and uh, it really did have that kind of an impact I think that they will look at this as a uh, I hope I'm wrong I'm concerned that they'll look at it as a uh, as a is not quite as powerful a, a motivational story and it's, I don't think it is quite as powerful now do you feel do you get the same motivational impact from it am, am I seeing this differently than, than you are no I get a different